Hey, what's up, beautiful people? It's me. This is Auntie Rose Cafe. We've been in for about an hour, but I just wanted to get on here and share something with you guys um, that I feel like it's my opinion. You know, you guys feel the way you want to feel, but, you know, I just feel like, you know, it's, it's me voicing my opinion about situations like this because it was brought to me, to my truck, and I'm not going to say uh, any names or uh, anything like that because it, it's, it's about positivity. You know, we want to put positivity in the in the air. We want positive energy. And, you know, we want to help uh, keep each other motivated and inspired, you know, because that's how I like to move and that's how I like to rock and roll. So just uh, the topic of the story was I had a gentleman come to the truck and what he was, what he was trying, what, well, what he was explaining to me is that it, that was his first time um, seeing us, and he wished he would have seen us earlier, because you know I'm not gonna call out anybody. Say he went somewhere, and um, I believe it was I, I think he was saying Pompano West Palm or something like that, and he. Um, you know, he, he, he's from Miami, he's from Day, but he went up there uh, to get some sauce. <clears throat> and he said um, he didn't like it. And what I was explaining to him that, you know, that doesn't mean that it's not good because, for an example, me, I don't like Benny Hunters. And for the simple fact, they don't give me all of my food at one time on my plate. So I don't, I, I'm i not saying the food isn't good. The food tastes great. But the fact that I have to sit there and wait for them to chop the food up and give me this dish, that dish, this dish, I love to eat, so I ain't got time to be waiting. But other than that, I know it's a great experience for a lot of people. But for me, no. A lot of people may like <clears throat> Burger King. But I like McDonald fries. So I'm not going to go to Burger King. I'm going to McDonald. And that's what I was explaining to him. I was like, you know, maybe that's not your cup of tea. And that's cool because, you know, to each his own. I say, but that's why I... You know, I focus on catering to the people that like what I like because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that don't care about uh, our uh, food. And that's okay. That's their opinion. I'm not mad at them. And I can understand that because some people are brought up to just like what they like, eat what they eat, and that's it. We can't knock nobody for trying. And I don't... The reason I'm having this conversation... Because if you do go somewhere else and you don't, you know, don't, you know, just, I don't care to hear about, you know, somebody's own, because what I, you know, somebody's uh, food that's not good and things like that. Because, you know, it just might be something you don't like. And we don't want the negative energy. We don't care to have the negative energy. And I and I can understand, you know, that's your opinion. But sometimes it's best to also just talk to the people and let them know what it is you might not like about that dish. That way you can help them get past that. And because, you know, food business, like I always tell people, it's brutal business. People don't believe that, but it's a brutal business. But... Um, when you see people out cooking and things like that, they take that serious. They take that cooking serious. And I believe they put their whole heart into it. So let's just keep positive. Let's uplift people. Oh, and here's the thing, what, what, what he said, is the reason he went out that way because so many people, uh, I believe, um, rooting for this guy. Uh, you know, sharing them through social media, 
uh, pushing him and, uh, you know, and sharing his faith. And I was like, yeah, that's probably the reason why he didn't probably come across us because, you know, he probably has a big following and he probably has a lot of people sharing his things. You know, I have supporters and they share it, but, you know, it's, it's just it is what it is. But, you know, now you, you had a chance to have mine. You know where I'm at. You know, if you like it, you can pull it back up on us. If you don't, I understand. But, yeah, we're just going to keep the positive energy going. And listen, especially, especially when you see somebody trying to build something from the ground up, always add value. Give them something that can help them. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody has a, um, a big corporate uh, structure where they have everything set into place where it can, um, you know, um, you know, just cater to you all the way to the front door. So let's let's give our people, you know, I'm just when I say our people, I mean people that you see out there, you know, start new businesses, and they just trying to create something and build something for themselves. Because I'm pretty sure if you're doing something, you will want people to support it. And that's just it. You know, everybody has their own opinion. And I'm not saying, you know, you, you, you have a right to say what you want to say. But let's just help people. Let's cheer each other on. You know, let's, let's root for people. You know what I'm saying? If there's something you don't like about it, pull it to the side and, you know, just see if you can help them by adding some kind of value. Just let them know where. Maybe you can, you can add a little of this or... Maybe you should take away that or, you know, maybe you should, you know, whatever the situation is. But, you know, just ask about you. You know what I'm saying? Don't leave the scene just a, with a negative mindset and, you know, spread negativity. Because we have to love each other. We have to push each other and we have to keep each other motivated. And that's what I want to leave before I go ahead and call it uh, a day for me until later on today when I'm back out uh, with you guys again so yeah let's help keep each other motivated let's help keep each other positive you know what I'm saying I don't really care to hear uh, if somebody's having a hard time with um, you know with something they're trying to do let's find a way to help them you know what I'm saying let's find a way to uplift them let's find a way where we can push them and, you know, that's just it. Listen, I love you guys. I love all the support. And we got to keep pushing. But until later, um, it's, it's bedtime. See you guys later. Peace.